we meet again. What she got? Where's little Jewel? Out back with the other two projects. You know, I always need three projects at the same time, so <laughs> welcome to number three. You know, life for me just isn't satisfying unless I'm messing up, I mean, messing with one of these Volkswagens. So I acquired a new one about a month or two ago. I don't know if I told you, did I? You mentioned something. I saw it sitting in the backyard. Ah, well, welcome to our newest edition. The yellow bug from the other show, Johnny Jalopy and I were working on. That's down the road. So I was starting to feel a little bit lonesome. I was working on that type three. That's out in the body shop. Needed to get another uh, VW back in the shop. So uh, this is a 1968. Came out of Long Beach. Shout out to the LBC for getting this car nice and rusty by the ocean. We're gonna discuss that in a moment. But uh, look at the back tire. Which one? This I one? said it was a 1968, but it's got the 67 and earlier style suspension. So I'm assuming this is a very early 68 model. You want me to look right here? Yeah. Okay. That about sums it up. You're good. So with the five lug, that's a 67 and earlier, but this is clearly 68. It's titles is 68. It's got a couple things. I believe the early door handles would be different, right? Volkswagen guys will know. I think they're a push button on earlier ones. Dashboard looks a little different. It's got the padding. Gas tank's different. My 67, you filled it from inside the hood. This one's got the tubes going out. It's a ball joint front end with the five lug drum. So yeah, that's the year 67, 68 were the changeover. 67 first with the 12 volt system, but this car is uh, good for this project because it's not very special. There's, I don't know, numbers will tell 50 million of these. So this car has been crashed, bashed, raced, repainted, been through the 70s, 80s. The guy said it was a Baja bug at one point, but I'm not seeing any of the traditional cut lines for a Baja kit. So maybe that was uh, one of his other bugs as all your VWs tend to meld into one giant story. So I don't know, but had a bunch of race stuff, had some aluminum door panels. He said the car was fast. He said he liked to go fast. I don't know, it had some weird aluminum door panels in there. <laughs> that had to sound great going down the track. Uh, check this out. If anybody needs this engine lid, contact me. Basically yours for a donation. It's one of those fiberglass things, but look what's beneath the surface. Ooh, ah, I don't know. He said it was a fast car. He says it's an 1835. I don't know. A couple folks on the socials, Facebook and Insta said, uh, why are they running the crankcase pressure into the fan shroud. So you have positive pressure coming out of here and positive pressure coming out of there. I don't get it. They definitely be fighting themselves. This is meant to go into the single carburetor air filter and that was for the emissions, I'm assuming. I don't know. Let's see if the engine's seized. I've never even tried to turn it. Again, he said, no dude, that car was fast. So, uh, he says he ran it down the track a couple times. It's got no cage, it's got no harnesses. Got some low back seats in it. I'll take those. So this is real. I've never tried to turn this before. That is seized up tighter than a drum. Look, that bolt's coming right loose. So. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh wait, look. <laughs> Oh wait, no, going backwards. Boom, there's a story. I had a nut fall down into one of the cylinders and it would go around and then bink and then around and bink. So let's see, it could be some, maybe water got in here and there's like rust on the cylinder. Let's try to back it up a little bit more. 
I really didn't mean to spend my time doing this, but there's an adventure around every corner. No, nope, won't go backwards. Further than that. The nice thing is, you know that. I do. Oh, look, see, it hits again right there. There's definitely something going on inside. Get to that point, boom. Maybe a valve came out. It could be a valve that dropped. Piston's coming up, hitting the valve. Could be. What's your take on it, folks? Goes, stops. Goes, stops. Valve could be down in the cylinder. I don't know. Guess we'll pull that whole engine apart and check it out. If you need this thing, that's yours for a donation. It's not gonna be on this car. Will we mail stuff if somebody wants us to ship it to them? No, pickup only. <laughs> it's gonna be a drive. Sorry guys, we do not take a trip out to Cali. So that's all the good stuff. We've got a half a working engine. Reasonably straight body, it's got the rust. The back window is leaking. Battery, definitely rusted it. Look at the floors, take a good tour. You'll see all the holes, front to back. See the light coming through. So being in Southern California, we get spoiled. Uh, this is a very typical rust pattern for VWs worldwide. But out here in the desert, we don't get a lot of this. This car lived by the beach. So look at the pan in here this window leaks oh, wow. there's a nice carpet in here that gets all soaked with water makes a perfect environment for rot it's like they were designed and then the battery goes under the seat here mm -hmm. that's super typical battery uh acid or whatever gathers there away goes the floor look through that hole down by the bottom of the uh, a pillar yeah, a hold it right there. So this is your A-pillar in here, and look, there's daylight in there. That's barely even attached. It's not even attached. Look at this. Typical stuff. But you know what? That makes it a great car for what I'm considering. What are you considering? I have ideas. I've never, I've body dropped the VW because I did a chop top and I cut the whole rocker panels and everything out and dropped the body down, welded it straight to the pan, brought the body up to the door hinges, no rocker panels, no running boards, but I've never done what's called uh, raise, raising the torsion housing to lower it. We're going to combat that issue first in this project, I think. Uh, it's where you literally, so all this rust in the floors, in this back tray, everything uh, isn't even an issue because that'll all have to get cut out. I want to lower the car. See all this gap here? Right now, the tires have a good orientation with the swing axle arrangement. Typically, they'll get out of shape when you lower it. But uh, by raising the torsion housing, that's actually like cutting the chassis and, and Zing the chassis. In, in a VW, it's a little different than an American car, and I've never done it, but uh, it looks real cool in the end. The tires remain straight. The engine raises way up inside the body. Just looking, that fan shroud can come up six inches. That means potentially, without even theoretically lowering the suspension, we could get this fender lip down to the rim, almost tucking rim without even touching the suspension attitude. Raises the transmission up, your shifter gets different, going to be some issues with the clutch cable. We're going to confront it all live. Well, slightly edited. For the front, uh, from one of Victor's projects, I traded him out. I have a complete fresh uh, lowered ball joint with disc brakes, drop spindles, I mean fresh and new, right, in the back. So that'll be a bolt-in, be a nice low front end. And then uh, maybe we narrow it, I don't know. I want the car super low. 
one other thing I was thinking. Yeah, this is going to be a big project. I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> and again, I, I love these cars. I know them well. Uh, Little Jewel is kind of a mystery. We're, we're working through this interesting driveline arrangement. Uh, the bodywork is kind of a no-brainer. That's where we're going to be with this, because the mechanicals for me are, are going to be basically stock. No crazy arrangement like on the Little Jewel project. <laughs> I'm going to show you a piece of art. So, again, back to the Johnny Jalopy and me story on the yellow bug. You know, we're always bopping ideas back and forth. Also, follow Johnny Jalopy on YouTube. Also, follow Johnny Jalopy on YouTube. On, at Johnny Jalopy. At Johnny Jalopy. <laughs> he doesn't do that. On Facebook, on Instagram. Check and, him out. And YouTube. I was just texting him this morning about this idea because I found a picture uh, on the interwebs. And again, this is going to be just really just a build as it progresses. It is what it is. No strict staying to the artwork. Yeah, here, check this out. Uh, this is off Instagram. I don't know who the artist is, but you'll see the name. We're G rated. So um, check out the artwork. I don't know if this individual made the uh, illustration there, or was it something he's posting, he or she? Um, pretty cool, huh? Looks like Model A fenders and a Model A roof line coupled into this Volksrod style arrangement. I'm not going to build that car, but the influence yeah. of the fenders, you know, give credit where it's due. Johnny might come up with a couple of sketches. I just thought that was super cool. Very These are obviously VW rear windows. This looks to be like a Model A style roof line, but just all different. So basically you guys are kind of collabing on a build like the Johnny 5? Like every other car. I mean, Space Junkie was a collaboration, the Funky Futura. Um, I don't think Johnny's coming here to work. We're just discussing ideas. He's always got great ideas. Oh, that's so cool. So for real, everyone, follow him on his YouTube. Him and his wife do a really cool sketchy live every Monday, 9.30 Eastern. And they Johnny just takes art and just draws some really cool stuff just on the fly. He drew some of our cars independent yeah. from what we've worked on and also. All of our which is our outro art is drawn by Johnny, pretty much, right? Yeah, the pincher set, no, you came up with the pincher set here. But the Johnny 5 was his drawing that he built. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, Space Junkie and the Funky Futura were also mm -hmm. contributions of his. One piece from the last project, the yellow VW with the Dodge roof, if you remember, it was going to be a wagon. Mm -hmm. Like we took this kit. Uh, I don't give up on ideas. I'm going to grab that roof of the wagon and stick it in here for a minute. It's funny, in the actual TV show, I brought this in and I told Johnny that it was a shower stall. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a shower stall, right? I don't know if it's going to fit on this car, but I'll explain what we did to make it work. This is actually chopped, it's chopped top a lot. See, we cut it down the center and widened the front because when you do chop a top, it gets wider as it comes down. Really cool look. Uh, just when I took this off, I saw that car and I was like, whoa, change of plans. So. Uh, this car is getting this roof, 100%. <laughs> See, it's a cool little van that's designed for a bug. This one's called, uh, a lot of people say the Vendetta, but it's not a Vendetta. This is a company called BG Spectre. I think they're in Wisconsin. Pretty sure that's the name, but uh, they're still available. I don't know if the Vendetta is still available, but you'll see how much we chopped this thing. From the side view, the starting point, this is about six inches, because as I remember, this lapped down over this body line. So I think it was a six or seven inch chop. So this car will get that chop. It's going to be very low. 
van style thing. I guess the doors were somewhere in here. Hard to remember. Actually, no, because the windshield, oh, the windshield comes forward as we chop it, right? So it's somewhere in this orientation. But so like that style of the drawing, but a van body version, like a, like a two-door sedan or two-door delivery sedan, because I had a couple other parts, fiberglass, Model A fenders, just like the drawing. I mean, out of shape in comparison, but in the end, you know, the car is going to be really low, dropped to the ground, actually. Like a side side profile, maybe like this ish. I mean, it's gonna be low, low for sure. But this is always the it's always the imagination part of the of the trip, right? I got some ideas about the nose. I'm not gonna get into that yet because I did have a wish list uh, for another project. So uh, I'm working on getting parts for the front end because you could say, well, you know, the fenders, they don't have headlights. Is it going to be a Model A? No, no, it's going to be way different. But I'm just trying to bring, you know, the funk factor. Check this out. We use the daisies, daisy wheels on the other project, but I've had these laying around and I've just been dying to use them. You know, I'm a fan of the 70s, of course, I'm a 70s child. Got the real deal slots, 14 by 7 for the front, 15 by 10 for the back. I got a set of four, don't you worry about that. And like maybe like Cooper Cobra tires or something with the white letters, BFGs. Right, can you see it? You starting to feel it? Take a view from the side. This is where it all starts. Too bad we got that pole in the shop. <laughs> but, you know, I got a lot of ideas because it's like, is the engine showing like the Funky Futura? Probably. It's going to be raised way up in the body. So, will it be a delivery van? No, it'll be something weird, like the rest of everything I do. It's going to be kind of unidentifiable in the end, but so it's like a delivery, super lowered delivery street rod influence from the 60s or 70s. I say heck yeah to that. I had a vision and I had a car. Cool thing is, I got some really neat stuff. If I am going to expose the engine, this stuff was happening for the for the Type 3 project. Since it's not going on there, I can discuss. I got this cool, these don't cool the best for the engine, but they look darn good for the exposed engine. I got a brand new set of Webers, come up, dual Webers, center mount alternator. Got a couple cool exhaust ideas. So. The next episode is going to be a lot of disassembly. I think we're going to uh, saw all the fenders off because I want to retain the mounting flanges with the bolt pattern. Uh, Johnny and I fused the fenders right into that yellow car. I, I want to keep this one a little more disassemblable. Assemblable. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to cut all the floors out. We're going to get into raising the torsion housing. Uh, at that point, I'll have the other front suspension not in the car, but here to discuss. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull that engine out. We'll explore. I have two uh, bigger displacement engines. So one of them will go back in here with dual carbs and all the goodies. Check out our other videos. We're working on this wire frame thing over here. Do a little cross-referencing. That isn't out yet, but stay tuned. We're working on some interesting things aside from vehicles. Little Jewel is still in the queue. 
we just finished the floor on that. Thinking about what we're going to go into next time. And then uh, look for that video as well. We're going to take the evening off. See you tomorrow.